based on where we left off uh, last week in our committee meetings, uh, we need further direction as to how to proceed and what to discuss with the bus company um, related to the fact that uh, the private uh, wraparound pieces will be happening off our campuses. Mm -hmm. And so, really, the, the first question is um, are we transporting to all those places? Um, you know, the concern was evergreen. It's just an evergreen piece that we need to solve tonight. And it, it's those types of questions that I want to process through so I can go back and get more information. I can jump in. Go ahead. Something that I was kind of rolling around my head even when we talked about last week. And I guess it would depend on how many kids need to take advantage of a wraparound care. But is it conceivable for one bus just to go from school to school, pick them all up, and drop them off at the daycare center? Yes, I mean, because then potentially we could hit them all with all the kids from all the different schools. So kind of ignore the boundaries and just say, okay, which ones do you need to go to and drop them all off. I don't know how many kids it amounts to. Maybe it's 30 kids and they'll fit the bus no problem and they would just pick them up at each school and then drop them off at each facility or if that's conceivable, if it could work, I don't know how much time it would take, all those things. But kind of thinking, outside of what we've been talking about to this point and having, you know, specific areas. And that would be, for, be before and after care? How would, what did we talk about to this point? Is it just, what do we have, we have, what do we have set up now? We just talked after, but... We just talked after. But technically, you know, since the WASP program can't handle yeah, it, because so then, yeah, we, we, we could, rather than picking them up at their house, you'd be picking them up at the daycare center. So it would be before and after that? I think that sounds logical. The only thing you have is how one bar start to end at times. How different are they in each building? Right. Are they all the same? We were going to do that. that. Yes. That would be the only issue. Though they would be bringing them, I guess it would depend on how many kids are at daycare and Basically, you can run the, you know, the buses can stop at the daycare's first from each school, too. That's right. I mean, because I'm sure at 3.30, you're going to have everybody. You're not going to want the little four-year-olds sitting out here when not everybody else is in the buses taking off. Right. I guess I think what I was trying to accomplish with this slide is maybe the logistics are a little off, especially like after school, because obviously, if you know, you're leaving from trail side, you might go right past the one that you the trail side bus. But I guess I was looking at it more for looking outside just the boundaries that we had preset and just making it open and say, okay, whichever daycare you want to use, go ahead and use. We're just going to have one bus that's going to hit them all. So it doesn't matter what boundaries you live in. Well, I like that too because it allows the parents to choose where they want to send right. their yeah. child to that daycare. Yeah, the bus I guess I guess I guess to say about that. And maybe my bus company, they can route it to where you know they may have a software system that says, okay, this 
8 in the morning, he's going to be on this bus, and then when he's done, he's going to be on the bus that goes to the daycare, or, you know, they can wait to be able to go to the right. three schools and go home. Kind of makes sense of it. When you're talking about the daycares, are you, are you thinking in addition to the three lots programs? <laughs> so are you thinking of St. Peter's, for example? Are you thinking of uh, the one out at Norway Church? Um, mustard. Same thing, you mustard seed. I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. No, we have not. Okay. I would say there's the ones in the building. Right. I would agree, but the ones that are just those four. Yeah. Okay. So all the kids, today's child, homestead, and then. Uh, and could some of the lost right. programs actually take them in the morning? Will they have a cold day? Right. Well, okay. they did, uh, I had a couple changes. Right. They were, uh, to answer Doc's question, but I had seen in, in some of the letters, and I don't know if you would seen that in, in the letters I sent you to with. Um, they were thinking about applying to expand the licensure mm -hmm. to, to the four-year-old piece. Um, I don't know what that means. The bigger picture, from the standpoint, do we need? Um, are they going to need more space? Because it, at, at times the loss programs are near capacity and there's a waiting list. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how it's going to materialize. I mean, and that's kind of a wait and see thing on their part. So the before school might actually be, they might be able to take me if any of them they have. Right, right. Because I would encourage them to be first before we're listening from their other spots. Right. Tom, you, with your idea, you were thinking just before. I would be oh. with that. Okay. Right. And I, know, I guess I'd also ask the bus company, you know, in, do you have similar situations where you want to get multiple spots and make more sense to just have one bus do it and kind of get there? Sure. Okay. Is there any input from the families on if this has changed regarding what they would be? Could it seem they would want? Right. We were probably going to embed that into uh, the screening piece. Okay. Um, because we've got a letter that's drafted um, to go out to the families to let them know that before the wraparound care piece is going to happen offsite at private places. Um, and then to bring, you know, you still want your number one choice. Bring the sheet with you to the screen so you can get all that put up. And then, but the point is, is what Tom was getting at just a few minutes ago, what they, what bus company actually does is they have the software and they do a lot of road, that yeah, road plotting based on where the kids live and all that type of stuff. So I want to give them as much, um, I don't know, lead up time to, to be able to run scenarios and then come back to us in the over there. Sounds good. So. Any other really questions on that? Or? No, it sounds like all three schools, um, the four, um, the four daycares, the four daycares, um, and then is it feasible to, to do all that regardless of uh, attendance boundaries? Anything else for transportation? Sounds good. Motion to adjourn. Second.